Surah to Euro al Imra N is the third chapter of the Quran with 200 verses. Context Imran in Islam is regarded as the father of Mary. This chapter is named after the family Imran, which includes Imran, Saint Anne, Mary, and Jesus. The chapter is believed to have been revealed in Medina and is either the second or third of the Medinan Shuras as it engages both the event of Badr in its first section and the Battle of Uqd at its end. Almost all of it also belongs to the third year of the Hira with the possible exception of verse 61, which mentions Mubahala and therefore might have been revealed during the visit of the Nara and Christian deputation which occurred in the tenth year of the Hira. This chapter primarily focuses on the departure of prophethood from the Mosaic dispensation. Another speculation is that since the event of Mobahila is the highlight of this Yura, a Yura al Imra n refers to the ancestry of Mary who is named by her mother it could also refer to the progeny of Abu Talib ibn Yura abd al Talib, whose name has been reported as Imran by Shi commentators. Either way the Quran juxtaposes the male lineage of the family of Abraham in the distinctly feminine lineage of Jesus and the family of Imran as a challenge to the Jews and Christians of Medina. Contents equals Verses 1 The Euro 6 equals, The first seven verses are notable for the way in which the creation of humankind is given a feminine origin it is he who forms your shape in the wombs of the mothers as he pleases. The Quran itself is given a feminine heavenly source in the mother of the book in verse 7. This awakens the listener to the surprise births about to be revealed in later events of the surah. Firstly the unexpected female birth of Mary and in turn to the miraculous conception and birth of Jesus. It is noticeable that all the miracles of Jesus presented here, breathing life into clay births, healing the sick are nurturing, caring and feminine in character. Equals verse 7 equals, verse 7 is notable for several reasons. It states that, some Quranic verses are to be understood by others, some verses are allegorical, it includes a disclaimer against misrepresenting the allegorical verses as factual. It states that a set of people are to be consulted, those firmly rooted in knowledge. Shah I understand those firmly rooted in knowledge to be Muhammad's household. Sunni understand them to the Muslim jurists. References External links, a fragment showing verses 85-88 from the World Digital Library.